So permaculture is about creatively solving problems that we're finding at the moment to building a sustainable future. Now it sounds a bit vague but problems that we find in different places in London require different solutions. Okay. It's all about very very much individual uh, solving of these problems together. What so, kind of problems do you focus so on? So I'm talking about, you know, we're talking about access to land, you know, growing our own food, okay. healthy living, wow. you know, buildings, energy, usage of energy, you know, transport, community cohesion. Okay. You know, things like that about whether, you know, can the stuff that we're doing now last for generations? Yeah. And it's very much about trying to cre creatively solve these things together as a community. Nice. And uh, that, you know, that, that can mean all sorts of stuff. You know, the transition towns, network, that's all based on permaculture thinking. Okay. And, um, so you know, it's a set of thinking tools. Yes. And it's a way of looking at stuff. So it's not, it's not specific, there's no dogma, it's not saying you need to do this, you need to do that. Yeah. It's more about like, let's, let's play with the problem until a solution, solution finally pops, pops up. up. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've got three workshop spaces, we've no, got a okay. big marquee full of different stalls, and then there's some people that are affiliated with uh, permaculture. So we've got uh, Alex from Alara and he sells muesli, and he's very much a permaculturist. He's got a wonderful forest garden and London's largest vineyard. Uh, permaculture vineyard in the middle of London in King's Cross. Wow. You know, and next to them we got Lush, Lush the, the cosmetics people, and they're really into permaculture too, and they often buy a lot of their products from permaculture initiatives around okay. England. And how about the, the centre there? What's so this centre is, we, it's, a, it's our permaculture workshop circle, yeah. and every hour on the hour, uh, we've got different talks and um, particularly here we've got stuff to do outside we've got like gardening talks okay you know I can re you know we've got stuff on beekeeping we've got stuff on pests in the garden nice. you know all of these things to do with your garden are outside Christopher Headley is uh, London's one of London's most famous herbalists okay going to do a talk you know and walk people through the place and show them what the weeds under their feet are good for it's so our first year here. Uh, we did the uh, London Permaculture Festival last okay. year and the organisers were impressed with what we put on. All right. And they asked us to come along. People really love it. We're supplying great content. Okay, so what do you think London Grief Fair helps organisations like yours? Absolutely, we're getting a lot of exposure from people that have never heard of us. You know, people coming along, never even heard of permaculture and you know, want to get involved. You know, they want to do something in, with their life and want to know how to get involved. Yeah, londonpermaculture.com. Uh, that's our website and that's like a central hub site so uh, you go there you say oh, where am I in London I'm in South East London you look, look up where, where you want to be and there's groups there you'll be, be able to get involved yes. and there's courses and all sorts on loads and loads of different subjects depends what you're interested in there's all sorts of stuff involved.